This video is proudly sponsored by Rimoho Tours. Stay tuned for more details. It's the best in the world, baby. Tell me up one time and I already know you win this favor. What's up guys? You with your boy Sonwa Boteta, aka the best in the world. If you haven't done so, don't forget to click the notification bell and subscribe. Everything is at the bottom of the screen. And I just want to say big shout out to everyone always showing us love. I always say this because I really appreciate you. Know, you guys are definitely doing the most for the channel. And thank you for helping us grow day in, day out. So in that regard, um, we are finally at episode 10. Episode 10 of the podcast. Um, so yeah, man, let's start things off. Um, something close to my heart. Um, yeah. It's not easy talking about this, but yeah, as a football fanatic, as you all know, um, on Monday evening, Frank Lampard, formerly known as the manager of Chelsea Football Club, got relieved of his duties due to results not going our club's way. So it kind of left me with a bittersweet feeling in my mouth, you know. If you guys don't know who Frank Lampard is, Frank Lampard is basically... Chelsea Football Club's greatest ever player. You know, he played for the club for approximately 13 years and won 20 trophies um, in the process. He is very, very loved um, globally amongst us Chelsea heads. So, um, how I feel about this thing, man, it kind of caught me off guard, but I'm not surprised because that's how Chelsea moves. You know, um, if Chelsea is not happy, with um, the manager and the results on the field. Um, it's time for change. So it kind of hurt me, man. This is Frank Lampard we're talking about, guys. Chelsea Football Club's greatest ever player. And when he came as a manager, he was going to ins he instilled a new culture within the club, especially in his first season, whereby he took place from our academy and groom them into the first team so that we can have our own products that play for us and things worked out in his first season and his second season which is this current season we're in things started off actually quite well we were on top of the table by de by december and then in the last couple of games we have been slipping off and now we are currently ninth in the table or 10th if i'm not mistaken you know and uh, it's just a really bittersweet feeling for all Chelsea fans, you know. And it's like firing Frank Lampard is like a mom kicking her own child out of the house. That's how I see it. And it's going to take us to a culture where we are from as Chelsea fans, whereby we constantly change managers every time results don't come our way. We don't want to have that patience of um, building a dynasty or building something you know if something doesn't work out if a manager comes in with fresh ideas he's always shown the door if results don't come into play and ironically that has worked to our success that's how the club has always been it has worked to our success we've been winning trophies in the last 20 years we've been the most dominant english team in the last 20 years so um in that regard man with Frank Lampard, I wish him nothing but the best. It hurts, I know, but it's football. You have to keep it moving. Nonetheless, you have to keep it moving. That's the most essential thing and the most essential part. So, big shout out, Frank Lampard. We really appreciate everything you've done for the club so far. And we really hope that we can see you again. You know, big shout out to my homie, Super Frank. And shout out to all the Chelsea fans worldwide. All right, let us come home, you know, South Africa. Let's talk about Mzansi, um, with what's going on. We are currently at level three, obviously. And um, um, things are just kind of surprising, you know, the way you see the cases and people that you actually know um, perishing. It's a very difficult time that we're in. And we need a very strong um, psychological mindset you need a very strong psychological mindset you know we're in troubled times there's a lot of things going on there's so much noise on the internet uh, wherever you are there's too much noise and people are panicking you know um, just be safe do what you need to do and be safe that's all i can say for you, you know? 
do what you need to do be safe pray uh, be with your people just be safe do the right things and take care of yourself i don't want to go into those numbers and all those figures because we're the best in the world we're not into politics or um, news we're into the people we care about the people of the world so in terms of the corona sorry corona old habits the coronavirus um just take care of yourself you know take care of yourself for your most don't be around people i've been isolating for quite a while i haven't been around people for a while that's why on this podcast you always see me by myself or if i do interviews it's through a screen because i believe that safety is very very key and safety is very very essential you know and we've gone around preaching and now you finally see that how deadly this thing is and it's affecting the world so terribly and a lot of people are going through bad things and whoever you are whether whatever you're going through it's going to get better remember it always gets better after a rainy day or a storm the sun always comes out so never ever forget that the sun always comes out in that regard let us um give a huge shout out to our sponsor remote tours and let's check out this video are you tired of being locked down? Are you looking for a place you can travel to within the country after the lockdown has ended? Well, you're lucky. Remojo Tours is the place to go to. Tours ranging from places such as Bela Bela, Mpumalanga, Hartis, Pretoria, Clarence, Durban, and Cape Town. Book your spot now. Tours start in March. Big shout out to Rimoho Tours. We really appreciate them for um, sponsoring this video. And go check them out, man. If you want to go on vacation um, at specific levels. So do go check them out. Of course, they follow rules and regulations. So you will be safe. You'll wear your mask. And you'll get to see this lovely, beautiful country. So big shout out to Rimoho Tours. Um, go check them out, man. So carrying on um, with today's agenda. I want to talk about a very touchy subject. It's been happening in the beautiful country of Uganda. You know, um, they're holding down my 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 brother, my fighter, Bobby Wine. If you guys have been looking at the news as of lately, early on during during January, Uganda had its elections where Museveni, he's been the president for the last 35 years, is going to have another. Um, he won the election basically and this guy who was who was a singer in the beginning goes by the name of bobby wine was actually a singer we used to talk about propaganda and the government and how unfair it treats its people so bobby wine man this lovely singer from uganda would preach about um, freedom and all those things and then he actually said Instead of doing the music, I actually want to influence real change. I want to be in the parliament. And Bobby Wine did that. Bobby Wine was a recording artist in Uganda. And he joined the parliament, the Ugandan parliament. A lot of people didn't believe that it was possible. And actually did it because he was the voice of the people. And as time went by, he was always harassed by the, Ugand the Ugandan government. This is well documented on international news. It's very well documented. He was tormented um, on numerous occasions. Even during the elections, um, Bobby Wine was confined to his house with the military police and military of the Uganda um, jumping his fence and holding this man to, I wouldn't want to say hostage, but the government says that they're trying to protect him. And we all know when the government says that they're trying to protect someone, you know, um, so, Bobby Wine, my brother, we out here, we hear your cries and the way you're fighting for the people. If you have time, go Google Bobby Wine and his incredible story on how he came up, as he came up from the ghettos of Uganda and he prevailed and he pushed himself towards parliament and finally going head to head with the, with the, with the reigning ruling party. The Ugandan ruling party he went head to head with the Ugandan ruling party and he challenged them and he's accusing the government of um, 
of tempering with the results. Because during the elections, the Ugandan national elections, the government switched off the internet for about five days. Five days, no internet. So if you analyze this, what does this tell you about Museveni and the current Ugandan um, government? You know, we're in a society where people are woke and everyone who tries to oppress other people um, it's not the 80s or the 90s or the 70s excuse my language but you i saw a, a beautiful sign during the black lives matter movement this black chick she wrote on her sign she says she said we are not our ancestors we will fuck you up and what that, that was very inspirational and that just um it puts a fire within me to remind me how essential youth fires youth fire is very very essential so to my homeboy in uganda bobby wine we are with you keep fighting the fight keep fighting the fight because a 35 year regime is almost like a dictatorship in uganda although they say it's a democratic country it looks like a dictatorship you know and the torture they did to bobby wine man he had to send his kids away because the government is threatening his life but they're not threatening his life directly they're using tactics it's almost like apartheid and during different social revolutions of different countries so we really hope things work out for bobby wine so big shout out to my brother bobby wine um we appreciate you we love you and we are actually fighting for you man so big shout out to bobby wine and everyone so that is it for episode 10 of the Base in the World podcast. Um, we appreciate um, everyone for vibing with us. Without you, we wouldn't be this far. When I say we, I'm talking about me and my team. You know, we've got people that we feed yeah, in this network. So big shout out to everyone. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, everything's at the bottom of your screen. And yeah, man, it's your boy Soma Boteta, aka the best in the world. And I'm out. She just wanna be fun, wanna ride my way She loving my lifestyle, she tryna be my baby